Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number two of the West Ham United Master League series with Diego Maradona taking over the football club. And today's game is a massive one for the club and for Maradona because we are away against Tottenham Hotspur. This game could define how the fans take to Maradona early on in the season. Because if we win against Tottenham, we will be loving Maradona. But if we lose, Maradona might be in for a fair bit of criticism from the club. Because as a West Ham fan myself, we love, love, love beating Tottenham. So today's game should be a good one. It's going to be a massive game. So let's go and have a look at how we're going to be lining up for the game. We go with a little bit of a different tactic from the first game. It's still a 4-3-3-ish, but we're going with Fabianski in goal, Masuaku and Fredericks as the fullbacks, Balbuena and Diop in the middle of the defence, Declan Rice as the anchor man, Lanzini and Noble in the middle of the pitch. And then Anderson and Yarmolenko are uh, either side of the main striker, Sebastian Haller. And just one change I want to make to that bench. Now I've looked at it again. I want to get Reed off for Jack Wilson. So if we do need someone in the middle of the pitch, he can go in there. And I think I'm happy with that now. Let's go straight on into the game. And look at that Tottenham team. It's going to be a difficult game, isn't it? Kane up top, Sun Hyung Min, Lucas Moura, Eriksson. Oh. Hopefully we can get a result. Let's go skip forward to the game. And I'm going to make an early prediction. 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one I'm going to go for here. As long as we get a goal, I'll be happy. Because I didn't, I didn't like not getting a goal in the first game. So let's go... You know what? I'm going to put us in a claret and blue. That shouldn't class with... Ooh. That, there we go. That is how I want it. That's not going to class with the white. So it's going to be us in our traditional claret and blue against Tottenham in their traditional white. And let's go and kick off the game. So here we are away at Tottenham. Big, big game this. Let's have a look at the players just as they're about to walk out. Hugo Lloris, the Tottenham captain, alongside Super Super Noble who has been a part of some very famous victories for West Ham against Tottenham. He is hoping that we get another one here today. Tottenham to kick off. The ball goes back to Alderweireld, to Vertonghen. He plays it forward. And now it's Ericsson in the middle of the park, and Tottenham getting through already. Oh, Sung Hyung Min with a long shot, and that goes over the bar. Yarmolenko goes wide and Anderson's in space. Anderson, it was in space. Passes it to Declan Rice. And the youngster with the shot is saved easily by Lloris. And that's going to be offside. Yep. Let's see just how far offside he was. Blumenek. Just a smidge. Just a smidge offside. And now it's Lo Celso in the middle of the park to Christian Eriksen. And oh, Kane with a shot. And thankfully, that wasn't really that threatening. Oh, Tottenham coming forward and the scored. Oh, Harry Kane with the goal. It was always, always going to be him, wasn't it? Look at him. He's absolutely loving scoring against us there, isn't he? Smug git. And he was never, ever going to miss that, was he? As soon as we allowed him to turn, that was game over. Well, that is a disappointing way to start the game. Can we get, a, can we get an equaliser before half time? That would be nice. Lanzini now. To Halla. Halla's in space. And oh... Best effort we've had thus far. And Noble there with a long shot is saved by Lloris. Tottenham could be in again. Danny Rose almost into our box. He's had a shot, but we've blocked it rather easily. 
Oh no, what's Anderson done there? Oh, Kane with another long shot. And it's Fabianski, the super pole, with a beautiful save. Tottenham again on the edge of the box. Kane again allowed to turn. And Fabianski with the save. Ah, oh, that's not been the best first half of football, people. Let's have a look at the match stats thus far. Tottenham have had seven shots to our three. And they've had three on target, just like we have. So we are probably rightly behind. Tottenham have been the better team. But we're going to leave things how they are for the minute. And then we're going to give it about 20 minutes before we think about making any changes. And now, can Yomelenko beat his man? No, he can't. Song Yong Min chops him down awfully. And they get a free kick. That's not on. And we are immediately under pressure at the start of this second half. Oh, Kane. Kane again almost given a chance. Thankfully, we defend that a little bit better. Fredericks, come on. Come on, Fredericks. Oh, referee. That's an awful challenge there. And that's very, very rightly a yellow for all the real world. Is Fredericks hurt? Please let Fredericks get up. Don't particularly want to be bringing Zabaleta on. But it's looking like I've not got a choice. Let's just have a look, see if he's going to be alright to carry on. I think so, for the minute. And now Yarmolenko with the free kick and well, that was dreadful. Tala plays it to Anderson. Anderson in a lot of space here. Goes for the long shot and oh, probably not the right option there. But Maradona there, clapping the effort. He appreciates what Anderson was trying to do. Maradona probably would have taken the shot on from there as well. Alright, so let's see what changes we can make. I say bring Antonio on for Yarmolenko. And Callum Wilson for Haller. Haller's not really done a great deal up front. So let's see what those two changes are going to do for us. Lo Celso, Ericsson. Oh, no. Oh, Jonas in space. And Rice with it. Into Lanzini. To Wilson. Antonio. Antonio is in oceans of space here. Please don't miss. He has. Oh. How has Antonio missed that? Oh. I, I don't know many people who would have missed that. But apparently Antonio does. Sun Hyung Min. If he turns his man, we're in trouble. Good block there. And now Lanzini plays it through to Anderson. Oh, Anderson's done his man there. And Antonio, that's two he's missed. That is two Antonio has missed. Oh my gosh. What a run that was from Anderson. He did the right thing giving the ball to Antonio, I think. But any decent striker or winger would have put that ball away. Diop, Fredericks, Noble, Antonio, plays it to Fredericks. Corner comes, cross comes in, sorry. Antonio, Fredericks, Wilson, Wilson, yes! Yes! Wilson with the late equaliser. His first goal for the club. And yes! What a team goal that was. Oh, that's poor. Can Anderson keep it in? Just about. He's crossed it. And we won it. Oh, I thought we won it. I thought we won it there. Oh. What a goal that would have been. 
Oh, as the game's gone on, we have only got better here. What a game. What a game that was. We finally got an equaliser in the 89th minute. Can you Adam and Eve it? Let's have a look at the match stats. Tottenham had 11 shots with 7 on target to our 8 with 5 on target. 53% of the ball for Tottenham. So, a very good game. I hope you've enjoyed that game. Uh, I've received word that Bristol City is looking to buy B. Johnson. Ben Johnson, our, our youngster. Uh, no. But this is quite cool that you get cutscenes on transfer window day. I quite like that. If that was for somebody more important or more more crucial to the team, then I would be looking into that a bit more. But anyway, guys, that is where we are going to leave it. Thank you very much for watching. Like I say, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Pro Evo content. I've also got this series and the Real Madrid Classic Team series whenever those teams get released by Pez Universe. Again, I'm going to flash up the thumbnail any second now. I've got FM19 content. The More to Win series will be back next week. And there's going to be a lot of FM20 content when that stuff comes out. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. Join me in the FM Creators Discord. The invite link's going to be down below. And as well as that, uh, follow Passion for FM if you are a Football Manager fan. Give their Twitter page a follow and go and visit their website for some very good articles and downloads and a lot of good stuff on that website. Again, the link is going to be down below. So go and give that a follow as well. And yep, guys, that's all for today. I'm going to play a few games offline and I'll come back in about five or six games time. So I shall see you then next time for that. Bye.